Hello. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel um, for more of this kind of stuff. Um, I've got a spider in my bathroom. Big spider problem in this city, Yaz. Got to be home. Go on, Daisy. Tell me exactly what's going on, admitting no detail, no matter how strange. It's been there for months, and um, it's been getting slowly bigger and bigger. And over the last few weeks or so, I've kind of thought that the way it looks at me, the way it observes me, I've been thinking that it thinks it can take me down. And so the other day I thought, right, I'm going to challenge this spider because it was kind of coming towards me and I kind of ran towards it going Whoa! like that and it shot back and hid behind the sink and I didn't see it for a few days and then yesterday it came back bigger than ever and then I watched Doctor Who uh, right, blimey um, arachnids in the UK, we've got a few um, one of the things I'm wondering about this story um, is I, I haven't quite worked out how all of the spiders were stopped. Um, it didn't quite feel as though it was resolved for me. Maybe I need to watch it again and see what the dialogue was and so on. Um, but one of the things I've really enjoyed about the series so far, and it cropped up again yesterday uh, in the episode, was um, uh, Bradley Walsh. Um, I'm really enjoying watching Bradley Walsh's acting. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect because uh, obviously in the UK he's known mainly for being a quiz show host. Um, I haven't seen a lot of his acting over the years, um, but I've been really impressed. I think he's really fantastic and um, I think he's my standout character um, of the season so far. I also like the way that Graham and Ryan interact. Uh, we saw it in Rosa where they had a little bit of stuff to do together down at the creek and we saw it again in Arachnids where they're trying to capture a spider um, in a bucket uh, I think or a saucepan or something um, and just the interplay between the two of them and their relationship and the way that their relationship is developing um, I, I really find that uh, totally believable and um, um, wonderfully acted. Um, Ryan again is is a, is a great character so the way that those two are interacting I think is really good and the respect that they have for each other and the way that that's growing is, is great. Um, so I'm glad that all, of, all three of them got into the TARDIS at the end because there was that worry that they would get back to Sheffield. I, I knew that they were obviously I knew that the actors were signed up for the whole year but I was also worried that we were going to go back to uh, the way things have been going in the Moffat era um, where uh, companions, friends, whatever we want to call them now would stay on earth and he would go and pick them up uh, the Doctor would go and pick them up uh, so I'm glad she's not going to do that I'm glad that they're all with her um, because it's, it's just I don't know, I'm a bit of a traditionalist, I guess, when it comes to Doctor Who. I like, uh, I like the way it's been and I want it to be, you know, I want it to mirror the way it was when I was a kid, I suppose. Um, but, I mean, you know, I think there's, there's scope for lots of different styles, obviously. Um, but I'm, I'm pleased that they're all going together because I think that's, that's good fun, really. Um, there was no uh, alien threat uh, in this episode. Um, and that's really interesting, I think, because what we've got is a homegrown terror. Uh, what a phrase that is. Um, and uh, and that makes it um, that makes it great sci-fi, I think. Um, and there's a, a history of this in Doctor Who. It's not always been alien threats. You know, you look at a lot of the stories of the Pertwee era, when the Doctor was uh, confined to Earth, and um, sometimes those threats wouldn't be about an alien invasion. They would be about um, people uh, causing problems for humanity and the rest of the earth um, normally via their greed um, and, and and that's what we saw yesterday with the, uh, the, the, the American character who wants to be president after Trump um, whose name escapes me completely uh, so very memorable um, so uh, kind of little shout out for 
classic series story. I seem to mention one every week. So um, this reminded me a little bit of The Green Death um, because you've got a similar kind of uh, environmental tale as well going on in The Green Death, much more of an environmental aspect actually. Um, but that's well worth checking out. Um, so yeah, we've got this character getting away as well. He shoots the spider and we don't see him again. Um, and this is a bit of a theme through the series. In the first episode we saw Tim Shaw um, zapped somewhere we don't know where. Might still be alive. And then our Malik's character in the second story, I can't remember his character's name either. Um, and then obviously Crasco after Rosa disappeared again, and now this guy. So, I mean obviously if this was a Moffat series, we'd, we'd know that in three years time they'd all come back and mysteriously appear at the same space disco or something. Um, so I hope it's not going to be quite so silly as that, but there is some unfinished business here. There's an awful lot of men getting away with stuff with no kind of repercussions. Um, and finally, my thoughts on this again return to the scope of Doc 2 because we've had four very, very different episodes um, and we'll see where the, where the fifth one takes us next time around. Um, but this is a, this is a series that seems to be able to go anywhere and do anything it's always been like that but uh i think we're being treated to a really good example of what doctor who can do and in in last night's episode we saw something we haven't seen for a long time this idea of a homegrown threat with no alien um alien presence whatsoever um so yeah i'm just of course again still really impressed although it's very hard for arachnids in the UK to follow Rosa because I think Rosa was something spectacular. But at least the series is carrying on um, really well and really good. Can't wait for the next one.